we're going to our next location. Apparently, this is about a three and a half hour drive, and we're going to Buenaventura, which is a reserve. You want to tell us a little bit about this? Sure, it belongs to Coco Toco Foundation. A few years ago, they uh, we got the, uh, the reserve in order to protect a lot of parakeet and some endangered birds and hummingbirds, and also the umbrella bird. We are three hours, 30 minutes from here, from Guayaquil. We are living from Guayaquil right now. the long morning drive, we arrived at the Umbrella Bird Lodge and it didn't take us long to set up and start looking for hummingbirds. The lodge has a huge deck, so there's a comfortable area to photograph the hummingbirds that come to their feeders and their many nectar-rich plants they have planted on the property. This lodge is located in the El Oro province in the lower portion of the Hokotoko Foundation's expansive Buenaventura Reserve, and this area is rich in bird diversity. We were delighted to spot a band-tailed barb throat hiding in a bush next to the lodge, and this was my first new species here. Even though it has a large distribution from Guatemala through Central America and Venezuela, Colombia, and Ecuador, it's not an easy hummingbird to find, probably because they hide inside the bushes. It has a long curved bill with a yellow mandible and a very unusual and striking tail pattern. Luckily, William Oriana caught one preening and spreading that marvelous tail for us. The white whiskered hermit was another new species for me, and this was my nemesis bird on my last trip to Ecuador. I staked out a heliconia that one was feeding on, but he would only come occasionally and only stay for seconds, so I could never get a shot of him. But here, I found one that was much more cooperative. He would stay on these flowers long enough for William and I to get some photos and video for you. A baron's hermit also made an appearance. This hummingbird is actually a subspecies of the long-billed hermit we photographed when we were in Honduras. Not a new species unless the taxonomists decide to separate them in the future. There were a lot of green thorntails in the area. This is one of our old friends, but there were so many here that this is where I actually think I got my best photographs of them. You rarely see a male and a female perch together, so I was delighted to spot these two and get a photograph. Umbrella Bird Lodge and we've been filming all morning where we've got some beautiful hummingbirds but now we're getting ready to get in the car and we're going to drive to another set of feeders that are at a slightly higher altitude. It's about a half hour drive and let's see what we get up there.
The Jardin des Colibris, or Hummingbird Garden, is at a higher elevation than the lodge, so you can see some different species here. The lush landscape is marvelous, and the hummingbird feeders are shaded by trees covered with epiphytes like hanging moss, bromeliads, and orchids. Apparently, as many as 32 different hummingbird species have been reported here at one time or another. We didn't see any new species for me here, but we spotted many of our old friends. But before we show you William's videos, check out the leaves on this plant. I'm not sure what these leaves are, what this plant is, but I like it. I want one of these in my backyard. <laughs> it's like a whole dress.